we are talking about installing a piston pump. This happens to be a Daikin piston pump. There are several different brands and variations, but most all piston pumps have the same characteristics and the same steps that we go through for a successful installation. Obviously you're mounting your pump here to the motor um, and you're connecting your suction port to, from the tank to the pump and you're connecting your discharge port, your high pressure port, out to your machine. Before we start the motor or the pump, we also need to make sure that our case drain port, this is commonly referred to as a case drain, this generally will go through a heat exchanger or at a minimum needs to be an open uh, to the tank. So you cannot just plug this port. This, this is for leakage, internal leakage in the pump and generally will go through a, a heat exchanger, air to oil or even water, whatever it may be or at a minimum needs to be open to the tank so it had, the oil has a place to go. So we've connected our suction line, our pressure line, our case drain line. Before we start the pump, we need to do one last thing. We need to fill the case of the pump. This is basically how you prime a piston pump. You can fill through this port if you already have it disconnected before you start your install. Or if you've already connected here, you can remove this plug to fill this case. So we basically want to completely fill this pump all the way until oil starts coming out the top. When you're getting oil out and you know it's full, that gives your pump a much better chance to prime on startup. So we've made all our connections, we're ready, we filled the pump, we're ready to start our pump. With the motor on, there are two adjustments that we'll probably have to make. One being our pressure compensator, we'll be able to adjust pressure here. Two being our flow control, and this is our adjustment here on the back. Okay. This comes uh, set all the way out, so flow will be low. Pressure will be pretty low as well. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll set pressure. We'll loosen this jam nut. And then we will go, and there's a, a, a screw that's adjusted here. The farther we turn this out or counterclockwise, the lower our pressure will go. Farther in or clockwise, increases pressure. This is just pushing on a spring right here to close this valve. So the tighter it is, the higher the pressure, the looser, the lower the pressure. Once you get this set to your desired pressure, <clears throat> we'll want to go to the back here and set our flow rate. This is just a, a jam nut essentially at the back. And the same thing is happening here. Turning this out will decrease our flow rate. Turning this in will increase our flow rate. This pushes on our swash plate at the back of the piston pump and increases the flow rate to your desired setting. Once this is set, you can then just tighten down your jam nut and you should be ready to go. So if you've gone through the full setup procedure and you've turned your motor on and you're still having trouble getting your pump to prime, a couple things we still want to check at this point. Uh, number one, <clears throat> make sure that your oil level is sufficient in the tank. Number two, potentially you have a suction strainer or some sort of uh, problem with the flow into the pump, so you may want to check that as well. Ultimately, if, if you have the pump filled with oil, you have your case drain port connected to the tank, possibly through a heat exchanger, and you have good flow on the suction side, 
you should be able to get this pump to build pressure. If you've gone through all these steps of setting up your pump and you're still having trouble getting this to run, give us a call for technical support or we have field service technicians available upon request.